Welcome to Cash Tutorials and welcome to another video in the LC Spy series. Now, if I press F2 and I start typing AD817 or any of these actually, you'd see that you don't have these on your LT spies or these are not default components. So, now in this video, I'll be showing you how to import new components. So, you might want a specific element or specific component and you can actually find it so let's get right into it so i'll now go into chrome and this is where i'm just going to search for a specific component now if you have a specific component then you just look for it so for example the ad817 spice model so this is how you'd look for your component and the first link is analog devices which has quite a few a lot actually and you can now start looking for the component which you're looking for. You can either press Ctrl F or search for it up here. So I just want to show you the process of actually importing your component into LT Spice. So let's just pick a random component. So now let's just pick a random component so I show you how you actually import these. So come here to the model, Spice model. And here you can just say I accept and you download to start. So I already set up my system to open these kind of files in LT Spice, and that is what you can see the LT Spice logo over there. In your case, it might not be like that, but don't worry. So what you can do is you can go to the download folder and drag this into LT Spice. So drag it in, and it should open. So in my case, I'll just click on that, and it should automatically open in LT Spice. So this is what you see in LT Spice when it opens. So you'd see this, which is a lot of text, which are basically the lines of code or whatever this is, which basically defines your component, right? So now your component is defined by all of these things, which you don't really have to worry about. What you have to remember are the pin names, or specifically what each pin does. So these are the pin labels, and these are, and these basically, so the labels above, basically describe what each pin label is for. So this to me looks like an amplifier. Yes, it is an amplifier. So now if you click on the name, right click, then say create symbol, say yes. Then now we have our new symbol. So you can start using this symbol. So the code is AD8226. So if we now open a new schematic, press F2, AD8226. Six, you see that there it is, and we can start using it. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how to import components. You can basically import any component which is available online or anywhere else, and you can even go as far as creating your own components using a similar approach. So I hope this video is useful, and you can now import your own components. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.